Okay, so I want to show you the cortesia. Now, the cool thing about the cortesia is that, again, it's not just manners. It is a specific protocol that's used, and there are three basic steps to it. But before I go into it, I want to ask, ask my friend Bob to come join me because I think that if I teach it to Bob while I'm teaching you, you might get it better. So Bob, would you come in please? Okay, okay. So teach me what I need to know. I got it for you. So look, I'm going to teach you the courtesies or the cortesia of the Hispanic culture. And it's based on three things. So the first thing it is, what you want to realize is it's based on the idea of acknowledging a person when they enter or leave your space, okay? So there are three parts. One is the formal greeting. And then secondly is the requesting of space or attention. And then finally, it is the blessing on the meal. So this is the way it works. The formal greeting has three parts. So the first one is buenos dias. Try that. Buenos dias. Perfectly. Now say dias. Dias. Okay. Dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Beautiful. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. That's it. Okay. That's good morning. Okay. That's buenos dias. And you say that from early morning until noon. And then right after noon, it's buenas tardes. Try that. Buenos tardes. Buenas Tardes. Buenas tardes. That's it. Buenas tardes. Okay. And so that is from exactly noon until seven o'clock at night or dark. And then at dark, it becomes buenas noches. Buenas noches. Beautiful. Buenas now, noches. That's it. So say them again now. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. That's it. Okay. okay. Those are the formal greetings. So any time you enter a space where someone is, you want to use that formal greeting. Now, it's not just the same as saying good morning. What you want to do is you want to make eye contact and you want to connect because this is an attitude of respect that you're conveying. And so it's the big grin, lots of energy, you make eye contact, and then you go, buenos dias. Try that. Buenos dias. Yeah, that's it. And then what happens is you can add a title of respect, you know, because this is a culture that's based on respect. So try this. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, senor. That's better. Now try this one. <laughs> try this one. Buenos dias, senora. Buenos dias, senora. Buenos dias, senora. Buenos dias, senora. That's pretty good, okay? okay. So it's the big smile, the, the buenos dias, and then the title of respect is really helpful. Mm. Senor means sir, senora means ma'am, and then a single woman is a senorita. Mm. So try this, buenas tardes, senorita. Buenas tardes, senorita. Pretty good, okay. okay. That's the formal greeting. <laughs> now, the next one is the the requesting of space or attention. Because what happens in Mexico is that the spatial comfort zone is way different than it is in the United States. In the United States, if someone is closer than arm's length to us, they're right in our face. But in Mexico, the spatial comfort zone is the elbow. And so it's common to have people get balled up and all together. And so you have to move through. So the way you do that is you simply say, with your permission, please. So try this. Con permiso. Con promiso. Permiso. Per. Con pre permiso. That's it. Con permiso. Con permiso. Con permiso, por favor. Con permiso, por favor. That's pretty good. Por favor. Por favor. Por Con favor. That's it. We'll try it again. Con permiso, por favor. Compromisa, por favor. Con permiso, por favor. Compromisa, por favor. Permiso. Permiso. That's it. Permiso. Con permiso, por favor. Con permiso, por favor. Muy bien. That'll do it. Now, anytime you need attention or space, you say con permiso, por favor. That's with your permission, okay? Now, it's common when you're in a restaurant to have to get a waiter's attention. And so the way you do that is if you can't speak to them, you go like this. So try this. Try that little hand signal. 
perfect. And you kind of look through it just the way you're doing it. That's absolutely perfect. And so this means a moment of your time, please. Okay? And you just go like that. Don't have to say anything? You don't have just, to say anything. Just That's do this to the waiter. That's it. And then if you do say something, try this word. Hoven. Hoven. That's it. It's perfect. Hoven. Hoven. That's the idea. And Hoven means young man or young woman. So that's the term that's used to call a waiter. So you go like this and you go, Hoven. Try that. Hoven. Okay. And then, it, then they will immediately come over because you just said a moment of your time, please. Okay. Now, the final thing in the protocol is the blessing on the meal. And it's like enjoy your meal or bon appetit. You know, it's that simple. But it's a little more powerful and a little more important in this country because anytime you enter someone's space where they're eating, if you don't say these words, you're considered extremely rude. So the word is buen provecho. And buen provecho means good benefit or enjoy your meal. Okay? So say this now. Provecho. Provecho. Beautiful, Bob. Provecho. Provecho. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Muy bien. So anytime you enter the space where someone is eating, you go buen provecho. Try it once more. Buen provecho. Okay. That's it. That's the blessing on the meal. And people will always respond by going, gracias, you're very kind, or gracias, muy amable. You will is there, just, is yeah. there any body language that I do with that? To, introduces it or not really what happens is you if you go in a restaurant and you walk by the table or you enter any space where someone is eating you just simply go buen provecho and you can use a greeting you could go like buenos dias buen provecho that's even more formal more respectful okay so try this buen provecho Buen provecho. That's excellent. All right. Now let's go through and review them. All right. So first of all, we have the formal greetings. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now do this. <laughs> Con permiso, por favor. Con promiso, por favor. Permiso. Per. Yeah. Con permiso, por favor. That's it. So don't forget it's like the pear, the fruit. Okay, and that's with your permission. Like, do it again. Con permiso, por favor. Con permiso, por favor. All right, perfect. And then the blessing on the meal. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Uh, that's it. Isn't that simple? Oh, God, you know, I need it. I need to be able to integrate, somehow interact with the Mexican culture, not just move through it. Yes. And, and this is the sort of thing I think that'll help me. It will help you. It'll allow you to move through the culture smoothly and show the respect. And it will distinguish you between people who know the history and understand the culture and people, uh, people who don't. And when you use the protocol, people will acknowledge you. There will be a message in their mind that says, this guy understands us. He knows what we're about and he knows what our history is. When you use the protocol, you will get a response and it will be a beautiful way to acknowledge and move through this culture. So, isn't that cool? Hey, I'm ready, man. Bring yeah, it on. You are so ready. Okay. okay. You're so ready to do this. How about you? Do you think you've got it? I think you do too. I've had a few days now to try out the Cortesia, and I gotta tell you, it's changed my experience here. Rather than move through the Mexican culture, I'm actually engaging in it. I'm getting responses from the Mexicans. I'm having them smile at me and react. I didn't get that before. But now that I'm doing this, I'm getting these reactions. I'm getting smiles. I'm getting, I'm getting what I want sometimes because I know what to say. I know how to interact. That's made the difference for me. And I'm really glad to learn it. I'm really glad to use it. I'm going to get better at it the more I use it, too. As an example, Boyne Provecho at the restaurant. When I walk by somebody and I say, Boyne Provecho, they look at me and smile. Before, I just walk by them, they would walk by them, no interaction. Now, they're rea reacting to me. It's great. When I walk down the street and I need to move by somebody, I say, Compromisa, which means excuse me. They look up, they smile, they get out of my way. This has changed my life. I can't tell you the difference this can make. If you just know these few things, it makes the difference.